Oh, hey, Danalyn. I almost didn't recognize they you. They say Polydor and Eloisa yes. were doomed because of the cruel nature of the world. Did you overhear you anything while imprisoned by the Thalmor? Nothing I it's could make sense you. out of. It's not even Although me. they did talk it's about the, the prison I was going the to. World. They even said I'd have a cellmate. Some mercenary. What did they want with a mercenary? Oh, hey, Reigns. Wait a second. What are you doing here? Supposedly, he had some information they wanted. When he refused to talk, they started torturing him. Do you two live together now? The joke was they were going to make me play my lute and drive him crazy with my singing. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> oh, they were just trying to help. Stop embarrassing yourself and pick up a drum. Uh, the Merc sounds like he needs our help. That he does. And while he may not care for my lute, I think the sound of my bow will be music to his ears. Where can we find this prison? They call it Coldstone. It's an old mine to the southwest that tunnels under the mountains. Of course, this makes it a lot colder than most caves you'll find in Falkreath, hence Wait, the where's, name. Where's he running I to? I think I got the gist of where it is by their description, but it's easier if I just mark it on your map. Does that mean you're following us? I think he's automatically following then. Yeah, what are you doing here? Speak. No, I said go away! Your loss. Oh, God, is this going to just be a pain in the ass again? Or is he actually not following this time? Is he still following? Okay. So I can't yes. do it through the regular menu. If I want to dismiss someone, I have to the go through... The bowl plays the music of the forest, and the wind is its conductor. Well, he's technically not following. He's just following because of the quest. Yes? But... All right. Also, it's not showing for him right now. Let's go. This is going to be very confusing. So, what's the plan? Under tweak options. Then I can go to action. Then I can go to dismiss. Give me some sugar. Dance for me. Oh, no. Rumorin, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Rumorin. Ooh. Ooh, back it up for me, Rumorin. Ooh, yes. back it up. Oh, quick, 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 now you need to play music. Some people don't like talking about politics, but it helps. Of course, what can I oh, play Oh, quick, you? now you gotta play some music. Um... With bells on. A fine request. I always knew you had good taste. Oh, please tell me Rumor is still dancing for me. He is... No, 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 go back to it. No, no, more. Very poor and worked his days at the general store, but every night he there he goes, there he goes. You know what they say, timing is all about <laughs> No, 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 keep dancing, keep dancing. Bells don't stop, don't stop. Ready to get moving? Don't stop dancing for me. Ah, oh, you stopped dancing. Dance! Dance! Did I have a... Man, he gets like two steps into it and just decides, no, I'm done. Stop ordering me around. Should we get moving? We should. Follow me. You lead and I'll do whatever you say. Cause is he even following? <laughs> Here he goes, there he goes! Alright, perfect! Much better! Alright. A wood elf living near a sawmill. Oh, I'll follow. Alright, follow me. I'm right behind you. <laughs> This is what I was talking about. Why do, um, why do follower mods have to uh, add all these features? Like, yeah, it's cool, I can make them dance and everything, but man oh man, I just want to be able to use the mods yes. built-in dismiss feature to dismiss people. But no, we just can't have it be that easy. <laughs> You're just gonna walk around with the loot out now, aren't you? Oh, so where is cold... Stone Prison. Where, oh, where is it? Alright, not too far from... Let's walk from a uh, Cracked Tusk Keep. Yeah. Whose house is this? Lorne's Shack? Lorne? Oh. Uh... <laughs> 
Hey, Lorne, I think you yes, might have a drinking have problem. You haven't killed a bear? Lorne, you might have a little bit of a drinking problem. Not sure who you are, not sure where you are, but we'll talk about it later. We're going to meet, we're going to talk about it, we are going to invent the Skyrim AA just for you. And, frankly, for a lot of different people. But you will be our first test subject in the great world of Skyrim AA. Wow, they weren't kidding when they said this place was cold. Ten feet down and the dirt's already frozen solid. Wait, do you hear that? Sounds like fighting. I, it does? You have much better ears than I do. What fighting are you hearing? Hello? <laughs> I don't hear anything. Hey, you there! Do you hear fighting? Huh? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. No, he does, he does. Ooh, you got him! Man, I just keep on missing with my lunges. It's a little embarrassing. Rumorin, you're just kicking ass, and I'm just sitting here trying to use my swords and failing. kidding when they said this place was cold. Mercy! See, I redeemed myself a little bit. Oh, what a what a death pose. Just stare into the stew. Gaze into the stew. Who are you guys fighting? I just hear you yelling, but who are you yelling at? You should have stayed in your precious You fight worse than jagged tastes. <laughs> Seeing all these dead Thalmor, part of me wants to pat these bandits on the back. But we'll just have to settle for stabbing them in it. I like Danilin. He's not a bad fighter. Like, he said he's not great with the bow, but honestly, he's doing more than just fun. Hello? Do you think the bandits are here to rescue the mercenary? Like, what do you think's going on with that? I don't like how eerily quiet it is right now. It has me a little concerned. I'm gonna ask you one more time, you stupid bitch. Who are you? Why are you locked up? Well then. Oh, so we're gonna play it that way, are we? <gasps> well, I've got ways of making you... Hold oh on. no. Who's that? Oh no, it's Gerolith. Everyone's least favorite right, that's one ex less thing to watch. Thalmor. Bravo. I rather enjoyed watching that man die. Just doing our... Wait. You're not a merc. You're a Thalmor. A brilliant observation. What will you tell me next? That I'm not a man? Even Boland has more sense than you cretins. <laughs> Big talk from a woman in a cage. And your words are empty, considering you aren't the one who put me in here. That may be true, but we killed the man who did. Him? You killed a flea. Still, he was ugly and malodorous, so for that you have my gratitude. What is it you wish to know? Well, for starters, what are you doing here? What happened here? Who are these men? Barbarians, obviously. They see a door and they kick it down. It never occurs to them to use the knob. Normally, the Justicias would make swift work of them, but our numbers here have been dwindling. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No. Uh, Savashni's work. Probably, and she's dead, so, you know. Can't ask her about it. A Khajiit. Interesting. The rumors say it's the work of a blade, but I suppose it's irrelevant now. The damage has been done. What can you tell me about a merc that was jailed here? Ah, yes, him. Supposedly, he's in possession of something valuable to the cause. And what did this mercenary have that was so valuable? A name. This Khajiit came to the embassy insisting he knew the identity of a traitor in our group. 
In fact, some of his information was accurate enough to make high-ranking justicias take pause. So why put him in chains? The Khajiit's price was unreasonable. It was nothing short of extortion. The Justicias decided the best way to extract the information was through torture. And who put you in the cage? Isn't it obvious? I put myself in. Oh, ha ha ha. Oh, are you serious? Why would you do that? Because when they asked the Khajiit for a name, he told them mine. <gasps> I turned myself in to prove I was innocent. Oh. Do you know where the Merc is now? The Barbarians likely took him. They think he's hiding some grand treasure. When they hear the word valuable, the imbeciles can't conceive of anything beyond gold and gems. But who knows where they live? Probably underground with the rest of the vermin. I think you're lying. I think you know precisely where they are. Maybe. But it's not what you think. I have no interest in finding or interrogating the cell sword. You expect us to believe that? Ah, uh, I forget you Bosmar are as thick as the trees you worship. Oh, Killing boy. the cell sword would only embolden his claim. Torturing him would only lead to more lies. When I look at him, I don't see a witness. I see a waste of a perfectly good whip. Then why don't you tell us where to find him? And why should I do that? What do I get in return? Well, we can let you out of this cage, for one. Mm-hmm. You're braver than I thought. You do realize what you're saying, don't you? I could kill you both in an instant. I'd like to see you try. It occurred to me you'd try, but wouldn't it be easier just to tell us? You just give us a name and walk away. Far, far away. <laughs> Interesting. All right, I'll tell you where they are. On one condition. I'm coming with you. What? You want to work together? Remembering what do you said. Remembering? You realize I history with the Thalmor. Remembering? It's not the kind I want to revisit. <laughs> Believe me, it pains me as much as it does oh, you. He wants nothing to do with but any of this. These bandits killed Justicias. This cannot go unpunished. And suffice to say, I doubt you have the skill to do so. Fine, but I don't want any stray spells hitting our Khajiit friend. Once the bandits are dead, you're welcome to leave. In fact, I insist you do. My thoughts exactly. Alright, doors open. Now where are these bandits from? The one you killed. He mentioned a keep not far from here. We should start there. Yes? Uh oh, rumor and bind you. Rumorin! I got you, buddy, I got you. It's okay, I got you, buddy. And here I was thinking that you were just guarding the exit. You were not. Not really, at least. Oh, I didn't see you back there. I'm sorry, I thought they were all back up this way. No, they were still back by the prison. Wait, are the rest of them? Top side? No, I guess so. They are. Okay, I wasn't sure. And the party grows. I'm the only human in this group. We have two Altmer, a Bosmer, and then me. The odd man out. Jesus, that's a lot of bodies. Jesus, that's a many, many dead bodies. Do you really think humans are lesser beings? Isn't it obvious we're just as flawed as they are? That is what you don't understand. Flaws, imperfections. These are all constructs forced upon us by Talos in this pathetic world of his. Um... When we ascend from this miserable plane, you will thank the old Mary for whatever pain we have wrought. Sorry, but I have to disagree. There's no such thing as a perfect world. Because flaws are a product of free will. And a true paragon accepts people for who they are. And yet you seek to punish the bandits who have adopted your stance on free will. Well, they're trying to kill us. Accepting flaws doesn't make you a paragon. It makes you a hypocrite. Also, bold of you to be like, oh, we're flawed because of Talos. It's like, people, you were flawed Why before this. What you were you flawed before Talos existed. Some of us don't need a reason to help people. 
We were taught to do what's right. Don't look at me. I'm not a part of this. Gerald's voice, it reminds me so, so, so much of... Wondering, how does it feel to be fighting for reasons that aren't, you know, completely evil? <laughs> the mortal concept of good and evil is based on perspective. It reminds me of Bastila from for Knights of the Old Republic. For a the sun is wicked. For a plant, it is a source of nourishment. Oh, so you're saying the Thalmor are like vampires? Just misunderstood people who can't help but hate the sun. I'll remember that next time one of them tries to bite you. I never said we were the vampires. Vampire hunters in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Oh, Crack Tusk Keep is right down there. Oh, that's right. I was going to say, it's like, wait a second. Crack Tusk Keep, I'm pretty sure we... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we saw it recently. Yeah, literally like five, ten minutes ago. The amount of dialogue between... The so, two of them is really, really cool. Oh, and... Alright, they're repeating themselves, the though. Never mind. Good and evil is based on perspective. Never mind. For a vampire, the sun is wicked. For a plant, it is a source of nourishment. Enough talk about moral philosophy. It's time to kick some bandit ass. Did you see him? Oh, man. Oh, finish him up. Boom. Almost dead. Almost. Boom, there we go. That's great teamwork, man. I don't like Gerolith, but she's killing everyone super, super fast. A bandit once told me I picked a bad time to get lost. Which got me thinking, is there ever a good time to get lost? That is a good question. I suppose if we were on our way to a Nord ruin and ended up at the tavern, then it'd be a good time. But only then. Oh, yeah, I went about this in the completely wrong way. I didn't even need to go in there. Never should have come here. Is that so? Halt, Outlander. Don't even think about it. Think about what? You have to be more specific. Nair is not a mind reader. But Khajiit confesses he has not tried. Perhaps if you, know, you they really should put up a sign skull. outside this camp. On uh, one side, it'd say, to back warning, up those bandits. Words with your On the other, it'd say, beware. Nair doesn't Adventures. back up his words with fists. This one uses his claws. Oh, God, your face looks... You'll make a fine rug, cat. Real, real <laughs> kind of, like, squished. Not so fast. Man, this emissary knows how to fight. This emissary can throw a punch or two. Nice. Danalyn, Gerolith, you guys want to come up here? Oh, there she comes. There she goes. Not sure where Danalyn is. Bandits. Maybe if we ask them nicely, they'll leave us alone. Yeah, we killed all of them already. Oh, ah, Danalyn, hi! You, assist. you don't look like bandits. What brings you here? These two. We're here to rescue you. This is good news. It will save Nair the trouble of doing it himself. And so many of you. Are you all here to help Nair? Today is truly his lucky day. We're just adventurers. <sighs> ah, adventurers. This makes sense. Nair is glad he will not have to kill you. After all, this one is popular with certain types of men. Bandits and bards, sail swords and swindlers. And sometimes even... The Thalmor. Yeah, she's here. Don't worry about her, she's just here to kill bandits. That's poor advice, Cretin. The Furball should be worried. He should take great pains not to give me a reason to kill him, considering what he's done. Ah, Nair understands. He would do his best to keep his words respectful and polite. Khajiit wouldn't want any... premature deaths. My least favorite kind of death. The Thalmor said you had information. Is it true there's a double agent? Is there? This is what the rumors say. Perhaps Nair started them. Oh Lucky my God. for him, the elves cannot turn off their ears when he speaks. I know the agent you speak of. His name is Telthar. No, I'm not gonna tell him! No! Uh, why tell the Thalmor that Gerolith was the double agent? 
Why indeed? Perhaps because he knew she was innocent. A lie is best told with only a sliver of evidence. It plants just enough doubt to bleed you out from the inside. You think yourself clever, Cat. But the only reason you're still alive is because you're worthless to me dead. Yes? Nair understands and he apologizes for using you. He did not realize the name he spoke belonged to such a... beauty. Ooh. Yes? And she ignores Nair. He was only trying to be nice. Perhaps she would prefer he claw her eyes out instead. Why approach the Thalmor at all, given the reputation? Nair did it at the behest of a client. He said a price they could not meet, knowing there would be consequences. In fact, you might say he was counting on them. The others said you were a mercenary. Is that true? Nair prefers to call himself a salesman. It just so happens his most valuable item is himself. You don't look like much to me, but peddlers and salesmen are nothing but milk drinkers. What's wrong with being called a mercenary? Because the name has a stigma. This is true. Mercenaries are known to be big brutes with smelly armpits. Nair prefers to sell himself as more pleasant company, even if his claws stink of blood. <laughs> what skills do you possess? Nair believes less is more. He fights with the claws the gods gave him, with a little assist from his enchanted ring. Together, they deal more damage than any sword ever could. Why didn't the bandits kill you along with the Thalmor? They were desperate for the name of Nair's client. This one put it in their head he would hire the best of them. This was a lie, of course, but the job is real. What's the job? Nair is glad you asked. However, this is not the time or place for such a discussion. Perhaps if the three of you would accompany him to Falkreath? Forget it, Rug. I have no interest in your quest for pointless trinkets. Be thankful I haven't roasted you alive. Tell me, Thalmor. Do you really think it's a coincidence Nair spoke your name? Of all the Thalmor he has met in his travels, why yours? <laughs> you may have a point. But I have no time for riddles, Furball. What are you getting at? All will be made clear when we meet my client in Falkreath. The same goes for you, Bosmer. Me? What did I do? Do you really think that Tarmor imprisoned you over a song? Nair is the one who gave them your name. In fact, as this concerns all three of you, Nair asks that you all attend. The fourth member is already there. Anyone else really worried about this and now? if we don't? Oh, that would not be a good idea. Nair is very protective of his client. It would not like to disappoint him. Say no, and Nair might do something terrible. Like, rip out your entrails and feed them to crows. So please, try not to keep his client waiting. What do you think, Mithril? <laughs> Is what Mithra would say. If we I'll meet you in Falkreath. Don't worry, I can be quick when I need to. Are you going to join us? I don't mind humoring this Khajiit for a little longer. I'll meet you two in Falkreath. Perhaps I'll be adding a new grave to my collection. Always the people person. Always the people Falkreath person, Geralt. Falkreath is that far from here, and I know my way. If anything, you should be more worried about the Thalmor. I'm not worried at all. Are you worried, Rumorin? That's right. I don't think so. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet robe. Let me guess. Dead end job. That's what I thought, dickbag. Figured they might bring you here. Griffith! Good to see you're okay. I almost didn't recognize you! I've not seen you in normal clothes before. Any idea what this is about? It might have something to do with what we did on the ship. But if that's the case, why are we still alive? I don't know, and I don't like it. I'm not sure, but let's treasure every day we have left. We're alive because our mothers gave birth to us. Well, 
At least Morgan seems to be enjoying herself. I don't know. And I don't like it. Me neither. They wouldn't tell me anything until you got here. Still, they don't seem hostile. But I guess we won't know for sure until we go inside. Oh, is that Morgan? Hi. Well met. What are you two doing here? Griffith and I are playing hide and seek. You two are terrible at this. I can't even tell who's hiding and who's seeking. Uh, you keep Bye. playing. I'm going inside. My invisible magic sword is yours. Thank you, Ramaran. And yes, I do keep saying his name differently every single time because other people have said his Come name different drink, ways at drink, different times. So if anything, I'm being consistent with them is how I'm going to justify it. Good. You're all here. It's not often I leave Cyrodiil for anything, but given what's happened, you've all left right, me let's little see what choice. They serve here. I trust you all understand the gravity of your offenses. Oh. The only thing I understand is that you're the one responsible for Can wasting my you? time. Or is there some other person I, I need to kill to end this meeting? Like smoked fish with a side oh, of yes, roasted potatoes and onions. Or ex Thalmor. What do you have? I was told you'd be Guess the most difficult to wrangle. It was just outside this very inn, was I think it not, I hear that you my murdered my father's steward. Me. Of course, the guard said it was a duel. I have a hard time believing that. I kill a lot of people. I make it a point not to care. That attitude is fine if you have the Dominion to protect you. But those days are over. You may be strong, but you're hardly invincible. No one's invincible. Not even you. Ah. Danilin Hokalo, the bard who can say aggression. <laughs> but it isn't your politics that brought you here. It's your gambling. About a season ago, you took a large sum of drinks from a merchant under my father's employ. That money was supposed to go to bodyguards for a caravan headed to Rothvine Manor. Without the bodyguards, the caravan was easy prey for a certain vigilante. It cost my father quite a large sum in gold. Then you should bring that merchant here. He's the one to blame. Or the vigilante. Quite true. But he's already dead. And while I can't blame you for his gambling habits, I can blame you for cheating him. Or is the ace in your boots simply for show? H how did you... There's nothing I don't know, Bosmir. But yes, you lead I'll is follow. a minor sin. The assassins, on the other hand, is another matter entirely. The two of you, after all, are responsible for killing my father, the Baron Gabanya. Oh. So, that's what this is about. Griffith. You want revenge? Griffith! Mm, hardly. As the bastard child of a family, I barely knew my father. Oof. And what little I've heard doesn't cast him in a flattering light. Much better. No. My issue is that your little act of vengeance cost his business. Nay, my business. A large sum in gold. I'm here to seek restitution for that sum. And if I don't, I take it you're gonna go after Morgan. No, but my sister will, and that is who I want you to eliminate. Oh. You want us to kill your own sister? I want you to kill my father's daughter. She's a vile woman, make no mistake about that. But that may only be relevant to Okalo given his moral compass. The larger point is the four of you owe a debt, a debt of gold and a debt of blood. To pay it, my sister would ask that you take your lives. I would ask that you take hers. Gabania never had a succession plan? My father did not leave a will. This should have been obvious to anyone why. He was a man who believed in survival of the fittest. While my sister focuses only on revenge, I see an opportunity. It is for this reason that I am the rightful heir. Are there any other children besides the two of you? I'm sure there are hundreds all over Tamriel. I was simply fortunate enough to be born in the kitchen and not the brothel. And how is the fortune divided up currently? Hmm, unfortunately, after my father's death, my sister was quick to seize all of his assets. But she doesn't realize her moves are pointless. 
This game can be won with a single stroke. What can you tell me about your sister? She and I share a much different opinion of our father, and inherited much different traits. My sister has her mother's passion and her father's bloodlust. As long as she's alive, your friend will never be safe, regardless of what Sithis thinks. You mentioned being a bastard child? Yes. My mother was little more than a scullery maid. As such, I was born with my father's wit, but my mother's roots. Everything I've gotten has been through sweat and hard work. I will not stand by and let my spoiled brat of a sister run our business into the ground. Another day. Yeah, tell me about your relationship with Nair. Nair was the bodyguard assigned to me by my father. It was an insult to my mother, meant to appease the Baroness. But my father's cunning extended beyond the battlefield. What do you mean by that? You may have guessed, but Nair is no ordinary sellsword. The way he brought you four to me is a perfect example of his guile. Yes, like my sister, my father could have assigned me some nameless bodyguard. But by giving me Nair, he not only satisfied his wife's petulance, but he gave me a mentor who knew more than how to swing a sword. What do you know of Gabania's dealings? I've mostly dealt with the economic side, helping the former steward balance the books. But when you handle the gold, you gain an understanding of how the entire system works. And how is that you're different from an ordinary sellsword? Let me put it this way. Everything I know about my father, Another I've pieced together from place. those financial records. Slave trades, court bribes, skooma smuggling. The list goes on and on. And he was every bit the scoundrel that the rumors claim. Why not suppose just normally? Why all the subterfuge? My sister may be daft, but my father's spies are still under her employ. We needed to bring everyone together in a way that didn't seem suspicious. As it stands now, you rescued Nair and in the process form bonds with your companions. I am here, of course, to reward the fine adventurers who saved him. Need something? What happens if we refuse? Kind of food do you serve here? Then my you sister will likely hunt you all as payment for our father's life. Food. While this Definitely will square your there. debt, I'd rather we handle this differently. I'll just chew on my fingernails instead. All right, well, where's your sister now? At one of my father's manors off the coast. Nair will provide you with the details. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business I must attend to. After all, there is more to saving our fortune beyond stopping Another my sister from spending it. Graveyard. But I want to wish you all Fall good luck. Hopefully when next we meet, it will be under less all clandestine circumstances. All right, fighting. let's say Taking we agree to this. I take it you have all a plan? A place where we have good jobs Naturally, a good yard. as his client mentioned, the target lives on an island just off the coast. As a former military outpost, the place is heavily fortified, but not impossible to enter. And I suppose you would have us march right through the front gate. Actually, there are two separate ways into the main chamber. One is the back door, an old entrance that runs underneath the fort. Oh god, oh, big push. Boland, get out of here! The the only true of course, it is littered with traps that can be more perilous than any sword. And the other? The other is the front entrance. As you might expect, the way is blocked off by a garrison of elite guardsmen. Yet both traps and men can be evaded if your feet are light and your tongue is sharp. And what path do you suggest we take? It is entirely up to you. Nair does not believe in gutting bellies with daggers when you can use your teeth, but he realizes not everyone thinks as he does. It is best to let you choose your own way. Well, I think we can all agree that sneaking around back like cowards is not an option. Oh. I agree. Not about the coward thing, but the sneaking out back part. Not all of us are light on our feet. And then Griffith and I are here. You three can do what you want. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, hey where are you going? By Yifri, what is his problem? Doesn't he realize we have to work as a team? We don't have to do anything. Especially if the idea comes out of your mouth. 
We just need to kill everyone on that island. Another day in Or we can try it island. my way first. That makes Valkyrie sense to you, doesn't it? Place to be, Boland. If my plan fails, we can Valkyrie still kill everyone. In fact, we'd we pretty much have fighting. to. Taking back Nordland. Fine. Tell us Valkyrie your grand is our plan. Home, a place I where we have good, good jobs under a good Jarl. Well, Until as a card player, I think us, I'm pretty good at reading good. people, even just, if I've never met everyone's them. Everyone's yelling. The Baron's daughter lives on an island. People like that are paranoid, but they're also extremely bored. I'm sure she'd love some entertainment every now and then. Maybe her brother sends us as a gift to his dear little sister. Nair thinks this can be arranged, but the others are not bards. One wrong move in your heads will be used to decorate the pikes. Ah, but what if we weren't just bards, but rather traveling artists? In our group we have singers, actors, and jesters. We perform songs, acrobatics, and comedies. And for humor, you always need a straight man to play off of. The Thalmor's perfect for that. And what makes you think I can play this straight man? Because all you have to do is stand there and be yourself. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is we earn a trust. Maybe even get her to become an active participant. So you want to get close to her by having her perform with us. Exactly. The only Another question is what to perform. Yard. I doubt she'll let us shoot a sweet roll off her head. What did you have in mind? Do you know the story of Fiori and Holgier? It ends with one of them getting bit by a snake. Usually a man plays a snake and kills Fiori with a prop dagger. All we need to do is make the death real. By the time they realize she isn't acting, we'll have escaped the manor. Nair likes it. But what about our brooding friend? Well, he left. I'll think of something. Improvisation is what an actor does best. Well, it sounds to me like your plan is idiotic. Which is all the better, seeing as I'll get to kill more monkeys. Good. Nair will arrange for the leather and the costumes. Simply come to the docks in Windhelm Another when you are ready. Yes. Falkreath is a fine place to be, Boland. Well, is where people go to die. Rumorin, I feel like we have to. Taking back <laughs> we're gonna have to part ways for a little bit. Ready to get moving? We good jobs under a good yarl. Until we're gonna part to ways us, for just a bit. Put. Um, you know what? Dismiss, but hang out here. Perfect. Because then I won't need to go looking around for him. I'll know where he is immediately.